Welcome to a journey through history where we uncover the chilling tale of the guillotine, a device that has haunted our collective memory with its grim purpose. Today, we delve deep into its origins, its infamous role during the French Revolution, and its lasting impact. Join us as we explore the dark corridors of the past. The guillotine, synonymous with the French Revolution, evokes images of bloody public executions. But beyond the horror, it represented a pivotal moment in the history of capital punishment. Many historians view the guillotine as the first step towards a more humane method of execution, one that aimed to reduce the victim's pain. Yet, how can we reconcile this notion with the blood-drenched streets of Paris? Designed for decapitation, the guillotine's blade dropped from a height of 89 inches, severing the head in mere milliseconds. This fearsome device, never mass-produced, was the work of skilled craftsmen, each part meticulously assembled at the execution site. Though linked with the French Revolution, the guillotine's predecessors date back to 1307 in Ireland in 16th century Italy and southern France, where similar devices were used. Doctor Joseph Ignace Guillotin, a name forever linked with the guillotine, championed its use in 1789. His vision was a more humane capital punishment, aligning with the burgeoning concept of human rights. In April 1792, Tobias Schmidt, a German piano maker, constructed the first working guillotine. Its first test subjects were not humans, but sheep, calves, and corpses, leading to its first official use on Nicolas Pelletier, a convicted criminal. Initially called the Louisan or Louisette after Doctor. Louis, the device's name eventually shifted to commemorate Doctor. Guillotine, a twist of fate he deeply resented. Among its most famous victims were King Louis Exfi and Marie Antoinette, symbols of the monarchy's fall. Their executions marked a turning point in the revolution. The guillotine claimed between 17,000 to 40,000 lives during the French Revolution, with a staggering number believed to be innocent. Its peak saw 3,000 deaths in a single month, a grim testament to its efficiency. The guillotine remained France's official execution method until 1977, with the death penalty abolished by President François Mitterrand in 1981 closing a dark chapter in history. The guillotine, a symbol of both justice and terror, leaves a complex legacy. It challenges us to reflect on the morality of capital punishment and the pursuit of humane justice. As we leave the shadows of the past, let's ponder these questions and their relevance today. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey. Don't forget to like, share, and comment with your thoughts. Until next time, keep exploring history.